I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 8, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be going over what I did to drill a hole in my garage wall in order to route my low voltage lighting wiring into my garage. This summer, we're doing a lot of work in our backyard. Last year, we had a house built and it came with a dirt backyard for us to landscape ourselves. So this summer, we're doing all this fun landscaping. So as part of that, we're putting in low voltage lighting. And so the idea here is I bought this low voltage lighting transformer here on Amazon and I did a video on it recently on how to, how to configure it. And so you can see, I'll put a link in my show notes to that. Um, and it works really well and I like it. It has zones. Now, one thing I want to do to set everything up in my garage is I, right now, my sprinkler controller and this are at the back of my garage. And what I want to do is mount them up to the, close to the front of the garage. That way they're kind of out of the way and they're really more convenient to get to. Uh, when I need to get to them, I just go right to the front of the garage and I can control them. That's my plan. So as part of that, I did a, well, I did a couple of videos. So there's, I did a video on the controllers for that and how that worked. And I also did a video where I was able to install an outlet closer to the front of the garage, not to the very front, but pretty close because I could tie it into something that was existing there already. And so now that I have that set up, what I have done already, and I'll go over what I've done, is I have drilled a hole into my garage from the outside. And the idea was, the idea is, I'm going to put some PVC pipe in there and use that and route my low voltage wiring from the outside to the inside and then route a little bit in my garage to the front and hook everything up and mount things nicely to the wall up there. Um, and so that's what I've done. And I'll go over in detail and show you what I've had done here in a second. But before I do that, I want to go over all the stuff I bought just in case anybody needs that information. So I have a PVC cutter, which I'm using for a lot of things, but I like this thing a lot. It cuts really, really well. Uh, I got that. I also have one and a quarter inch PVC pipe because I do plan on doing multiple zones. And so I'm going to have to route in about five pieces of wire in here. Uh, so I just need it bigger. I also bought this, um, <laughs> this, uh, drill set because I do need to drill in a bigger hole. And I bought this because doing my backyard is an excuse for me to buy more tools. So I like this, but as I'll probably go over here, you, this is not really designed to go through the, <laughs> the rock and grout I had to go through. So I kind of killed a couple of bits. So I had to buy an additional bit, a one and a three quarter inch bit to get into the wall. Um, and also here I got 90 degree bends that I had to buy. I had to buy a extension cord. I bought a couple of tube straps to attach to the wall. And then lastly, I did buy a quarter inch drill bit, a long one. That way I could, when I initially did it, I drilled a drill bit all the way through the outer wall and into the inner wall. That way I could align them really well. And then from the outside, I drilled the big hole. And then I came on the inside and drilled the other hole. That way I could make sure they align pretty well. And then I can get the pipe in there. So there's the stuff I bought. In total, I spent about $188 on all this stuff. But most of it's tools. Only about $30 of it is for the project itself. Most of this stuff, um, except for the fact that I killed a drill bit, I can reuse for other stuff. So chance to buy tools. But with that, let me go show you what I did. Okay, I'll show you all this as best I can. So first of all, I had to go drill a hole. So from the outside, I got this big old long drill bit. I found the best places I could because I was going to put this through. So I found a place with enough mortar. I didn't want to drill through the stone that I have on the outside. I found a decent spot with enough mortar that this could fit in. And then I tried to center it in and I drilled through. And I drilled it from the outside all the way in. So I pierced this side because there's the two walls. And that way I could line them up after the fact. And then I could come from the other side and drill the bigger hole and then drill the bigger hole on this side and then put the tube through and know I could connect them. So after I got that drilled through and confirmed it went all the way through, then I got these, and this was a lot of fun. See, this is just slightly bigger than this tube. And of course, before I did this, I first drilled through some wood to make sure, yeah, this is going to go through just fine. But then when I did this, now I can't say how much of a difference it made, but I did use this drill because you're going to, if you end up, if you're like me and you've got mortar or, or rock on the outside, it's going to take a lot to get through it, and it did take a lot for me to get through it. So this is a hammer drill, and I tortured the crud of this thing. I was there for about an hour, kind of doing it like doing it for you know back and forth every 10 or 20 seconds and stopping because I didn't want to overheat it just in case, and then taking a break and make sure it didn't overheat. So it took quite a while to get through because these bits I don't think are really designed to go through the concrete as well. Um, I just don't think they're designed, but but it got the, it did get the job done. 
So as you can as you can see here, this is a fresh pack, and that's what it should look like. And that's what I did to one of them. I worked down to just a nub. And so I went through one and a half of these to finally get through. Um, and then getting through the from this side, this is just drywall, that was easy. And then once I got through, I was able to shove one of these through just fine. And speaking of, I had to cut it the right size. This thing is awesome. This thing ratchets. And if you haven't seen one of these, I like this thing a lot. We're also putting sprinklers, so this thing just works so great to cut things. Boom. So, there we go. So what we did is right here is the actual hole we drilled. And there's a pipe on this side going through, so we'll go real quickly and show you the other side. So I'm nowhere near done, but what I plan on doing is I'm going to seal this. I haven't caulked this yet, but I'm going to get this where I want it eventually and seal it so I don't have to worry about water coming in. But then as far as this goes, I'm not going to glue this on. I want this so I can pop it off so that I can easily, more easily feed things through. And what I'm also going to do is I'll add another piece here that goes under the ground and I'll bury all this, but knowing that I can take it apart and get things in. But this piece will be permanent. And then back on the inside, all this stuff comes apart too. I'm not going to glue any of this stuff, so I can take this stuff apart. And the idea is I'll probably have to, once I get all the cabling through that I want, I'll take this apart, route it bit by bit, which I've already done for the first two that I'm getting, first uh, two zones that I have. So I pull these two zones through, and I've got one hooked in right now. But you can see uh, this transformer is kind of nice because it has three zones. And I'm planning on having five zones just in case, but I'll probably resort down to the three. Maybe someday they'll have one with five zones, but this one actually has more than one zone. Um, but I got that on there. I've got this, um, I got my power, because the power is still a little further away than I'd like, so I have the power right here. I just ran a cord down. I'll clean this up a little bit better as time goes on, because I'm also going to put my sprinkler controller right here or right here, so I can have everything in one place, and also I'll route the sprinkler wire in a similar fashion up here to there. So that is my plan. Oh, and also, this guy does not have a nice mount to it, which is kind of a bummer. Luckily, right here on my wall, I know I have, since we had the house built, I know exactly what's behind my wall. So right here, I have a bunch of 2 by 4s two bunched together, so I can know exactly where that is. So I have a big space where I can do things. So what I had to do is I actually took this whole thing apart. I took this whole thing apart and I found out that in this section uh, there was nothing up here in the other upper corners. So I actually drilled some big holes here in order to drill smaller holes in the back so that I could feed in, you know, I had a screwdriver, I had to go feed it in gently and then screw it into the wall tightly. And then also down here, I think I have a, there is a, there was a hole down here, so there actually is a screw in here. So I've got it screwed in three places. So this thing is nice and firm on the wall because this is heavy. Before they just had like little ways to hook onto it, but just it wasn't holding very well. And I knew someone was going to probably accidentally knock it off the wall and hurt themselves. So now it is really on there. So that's what we have so far. And so that's what I did for the big job. And I guess I didn't mention this. If you're going to drill like I did, if you're lucky enough you just got wood, you can just drill through it. But if you have what I have with a bunch of rock out there, it's a pain in the butt to drill through, but I got the job done, so we are good, and that's where we are at this point. There's more lighting to come, but I got this part done. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Denver. Or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.